Greg Evans. Greg and, Evans. And, and Greg was our guinea pig and knew it. He said, I'll give you as much time as you want to find the story that you want. So we sat with him for five hours asking all sorts of different questions. Um, and he was great. Yes? What was the case for this work? Our, was the, mostly the film. But you would get a you would get a CD or a download of the film. And then um, some people there's for slightly more you would get a um, I don't know, a signed DVD or a yeah. poster or and, and make your books available. Oh yeah, and I included some of my books that I as a cartoonist so that people could get a lot of my time and want that. So um, yes. A lot of the older cartoons would be like uh, like it would be obvious to do that like the older or something. How did how did you decide which of the newer artists had to probably that? That and stuff like that. Yeah. Are there any people that you, you know their work? Well, or well like you can't. It's funny because you have to, in some ways, be curatorial towards it. Like you have to have an editorialized, like this but person's special. This one's going to be special. This one, you know. Right. So I think we're such fans to begin with of the medium. We try to include as many people as possible. You know, people that we like. You know, and then people that are interesting and people that have historic value. So we ended up interviewing over 70 people, which is quite a lot, you know, material. We ended up with way <coughs> over 300 hours of material, like, yeah. like twice as much as Coppola has for Apocalypse Now. So if you <laughs> think about, like, <laughs> taking that down and, and <coughs> making a... So essentially we're saying this is twice as good as Apocalypse Twice as good as Apocalypse <laughs> You like Apocalypse Now, this is twice as good as Apocalypse I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you have all that extra material that obviously yeah. isn't in the movie. <coughs> what are your long-range plans for that? Well, so the magic thing about the time we're living in now is one of the platforms that we're going to be distributing on is an upstart company called VHX, which the guys from Reddit took money into, and I think some of some, uh, some of the founders of Tumblr took into. Anyway, um, VHX is a great platform because you can sell the movie, and then you can also sell packages where they say, I'd also like the full Jim Davis interview. I'd like the full Bill Amon interview. I'd like, you know, and you could package it in. And so right now we have uh, 15 of the full-length interviews edited out of 77. Right. And over time, we're going to slowly add on to them. Um, right. But yeah. Because frankly, as fans ourselves, like we would have loved to, as kids to dive into that. Hell, as an adult, I would love to dive yeah, into absolutely. it. So, um, so it's, uh, it's a nice, and, and in addition to that, we're going to give the full archive to Ohio State. There you go. Um, to so they'll have it in their position. The other thing is, if, if it's popular mm -hmm. enough, you know, we'd like to continue to do this and interview more people because, I mean, while 70 sounds like a lot, it really isn't. Like, there's so many more people that Absolutely. we wish we could have talked to that we didn't get a chance yeah, to. It's really yeah. something that needs to do. Sergio, you had a question, I'm sorry. That we ask them, did you have a chance to meet them? You know what's funny? We, uh, there was a few people in our sort of wish list that we had, and we had gone out to Gary, I think, in three or four different ways. And he, he unfortunately, declined um, in all the different ways we tried. Um, <laughs> Some right. people were very, like Burke Brothers, uh, declined, but very politely declined and told us why, and then said, but feel free to use any of my scripts in the film, which is a kindness in itself, you know. Our and hope is that maybe if people see it, they'll realize that, you know, we're, we really appreciate the art form, we're trying to do service to them, so maybe we could go back out to the area and get yeah. them to participate. I think there's only three or four people, uh, Burke Brothers said no, Gary Larson said no, um, Trudeau said no. Which is funny because we just missed the window that Trudeau hadn't done interviews in decades, and he had that little window. I don't know if you guys remember this, where he did Charlie Rose and CNN and 60 something. I think it was 60 minutes. And his uh, assistant was like, "That was a free." Gary had set a three-month window where he was saying yes to interview, and you guys just missed it. And I was like, "No, nah, I got it." <laughs> so, um, but anyway, uh, it was it was lovely to be able to get people like Bill or Jeannie Sh Sh Schultz and, and different people like that to talk to. So um, we we lucked out. We're not looking to get forced them out. Yeah, and, and what's great is the, the cartooning community is so generous. Like, th that's <coughs> what I found as an outsider, as a filmmaker. I couldn't believe how much time and, you know, really support that <coughs> all the cartoonists gave each other, you know, and gave to, to us. Um, it was really moving as a, as a filmmaker that people are so supportive of, of the medium. Um, so I, I really appreciate that. Um, would you guys like to see the, we have a section that talks about how digital comics work. Would you like to see it's kind of fun because it's an 8-bit animation. Yeah. Do, we have, do we have a second to do that or do we run into it? Okay. So if you'll forgive me, I'm going to have to kind of scan ahead here. We can dim the lights. And, uh